All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric, and just want to welcome you to the, the class introduction to programming. And we're going to look at access programming uh, via Visual Basic for applications. So each Microsoft product has their own version of, of uh, Visual Basic for applications. And uh, we're going to look at it from a access perspective. So uh, first of all, uh, if you open up a database, a new database, you're going to see on your screen just a basic, uh, basic database shell. And we're going to press alternate and the F11 key to open up the Visual Basic for Applications editor or the VBA editor. Okay, what you're going to see on the VBA editor is on the left side, the Visual Base for Applications. Uh, you're going to see the Visual Base for Applications Explorer, the immediate window, this big gray mass, which is your programming screen. So, and the uh, way you access this gray mass is by right clicking here and choosing Insert a Module. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna make the screen a bit bigger. All right. And you may or may not see see what I see on what's on my screen here. Option compare database and option explicit. Well, number one, option compare database is access specific. Okay, it is a database. So you have option compare database. And it's to make your code uh, appear uh, run a little bit s smoother. And option explicit, I'm going to go into what option compare database means a, a little bit more, uh, a little bit later on. And then option explicit means you have to explicitly declare each and every variable that you may have. Writing procedures, overview of modules and procedures. We're going to go through working with modules. We're going to go through the code window. We're going to go through creating the sub procedure and we're going to do it creating the sub procedure. Alright these are things that we're going to do. Now to make these well I'm going to just go ahead and delete this stuff because uh, we're not going to need it right now. Alright so we have our first module here, uh, module one, and we could give it a name by by going up here to the properties button and clicking on the properties window and naming it for module one. We name it something different, like BAS. BAS is like a prefix for uh, basic basic procedure. So as differentiate differentiate between basic procedure and class procedure I'm sorry basic module and class module okay so uh, BAS mod module module one okay and notice how in my visual basic editor it changes here it says BAS module one so, now the first thing we're going to learn in this lesson here is overview of modules and procedures. So, in here, in this Visual Basic Editor window, we have all these, these objects, these are choose the different objects you have. You have a lot of forms in your, in your database, you're going to see it underneath the this window, this drop down box. If you see right in this drop down box, you're going to see all of your your uh, mod the functions and modules and sub procedures you may have. Okay. Statement. What is a statement? Well, a statement is for anything inside of a procedure. So if I have a sub uh, sub test. And they, that may be my first procedure. Okay, and this is a basic thing. So my statement would be, um, 
statement would be like X okay nothing more than X it didn't do anything but X is kind of my statement that's my statement so it's a single line of programming code it's called a statement and each statement can perform only one task now next is a keyword so now if I make X a little bit more specific I would say dim X as uh, integer okay then I know that X is now going to be and and a number it's not going to be just X which shouldn't mean anything now it's okay well it has a value of it can have a value of like one two three four five six seven whatever you want to call it so dim X as, as integer so keywords are words within statements that are part of visualization for applications language and these are called keywords so I'm dimensioning a bit of memory for that now if I say x equals x let's see x is let's see x oh that, this is a good one date okay well date is a keyword because notice how date it, it's lowercase when I press my down arrow it's uppercase so apparently Axos knows this as being a keyword so date date so that is that is keyword I'm gonna go ahead and erase it because it didn't really mean anything it's gonna mess me up if I leave it there and it's gonna mess you up too if you leave it in yours all right so procedure procedure are sets of statements that are designed to be run together procedures can hold one or more statements procedures exist in modules so here I have my sub test and my end sub now this is called a procedure okay now I have my my what's in here I have a message bar or let's say X X equals X equals one and then I have message box I just want to say okay then I run this I get one so here's my series of statements it makes up my procedure so and now we have a, a statement statement we have keyword remember I put date in here a procedure and these are all in the module called bass module so I close this okay I'm gonna see over here I'm gonna see let's see object types I'm gonna go over here to look at my modules and I'm gonna have to pause this because I'm getting interrupted so all right to be able to view your own your new module like mine is shown right here you have to close out of your database and then reopen it then you should see uh, bass module one here if you don't then go up here to get access all objects and then change your custom deep and I'm using 2007 here access 2007 and if you use a prior version of 2007 like 2003 or 2000 or below uh, you'll be able to see it up here at the one of your tabs at the top but using the ribbon uh, using access 2007 and above 2010 on up uh, you'll be able to access all objects object type and be able to select modules okay and then bass module one it's gonna ask you before before you even do it I should say you're gonna be able to you gonna be asked uh, do you want to save the save the module first so you're gonna do that all right now uh, we covered statement 
keyword procedure modules. Now modules can hold one or more procedures. Each form has a module associated with it. And you can create separate standalone modules from the modules object on the database window. So uh, this right here is considered a separate standalone module. In addition, you can add statements that affect all procedures in the module, and we're going to cover that later on. Scope, a scope of a uh, variable, either public scope or a private scope. Okay. Now we're, we're going to uh, we covered the, the four things as far as the VBA window is concerned here. Okay, next we, uh, we've already created a module, so it's all good for that. Uh, we do want to look at these items that I talked about earlier, option explicit and option compare database. Okay, before we do that, again, this is a technical term, it's called the object box. Okay, it's going to show all the objects like forms. And now look, I have a I have my module here, test because I am in it's going to tell me all the procedures that are in my module that I'm in right now so my procedures are my functions okay now option compare database is there to help with string comparisons okay help with string comparisons you may not think about that under normal use but if you want I I've done this for a while and I've never even considered or had use for this. Maybe maybe you do have use for that, but the uh, option compare database, you can leave it out if you want, but uh, it's got in there by default, it didn't hurt anything. If you are concerned with it, uh, just know that it's there to help with string comparisons. There to uh, help with string comparisons. So like with the in string function okay finding capitals versus lowercase and so if I have a capital in a in a name like my last name is local it'll find capital L O E B L but if I say search global it'll L O E B L all lowercase it won't find that it just searches and finds the capitals all right. Now the to find to if your option explicit doesn't show up right away, you could go to tools and to options and to general, and then you could select option. Oh, I know it's out there. Ah, where is it? Oh, yeah, under editor. So, tools, options, editor. And they require variable declaration. Okay, that shows it by default. That'll allow it to show by default. It'll be up, up on the screen by default. So, that is the code window there. Creating a sub procedure. Now, next, I want to go ahead and uh, we're going to create a simple message box. Okay, again, take out this, and now I'm going to create a simple message box, and we're going to call this sub sub greeting. And uh, it's going to be a sub procedure okay all the procedures in a module are called by their name subs we're not you may see like public sub or private sub we're just gonna call this a plain sub and uh, by default it's public okay yeah. if you're interested in that so if you don't put anything there it's considered public that means every everybody can access it Every item can access it. 
every every uh, every mod is going to access it. So, greeting MSG BOX. Notice that in the versions, the newer versions, of access despite the fact that they have uh, like Visual Basic or Visual Studio dot net. It's not using that. Uh, message B O X like real message M E S S A G E B O X she's in the old old version uh which is M S G B O X so it didn't change so yeah if you if you're concerned about the changing uh VBA didn't change okay message box quote open quote close quote and then for here I'm gonna say well done and then I, I want to put an exclamation point here instead okay and then I'm going to run it by pressing F5 on my keyboard well done you can also go up here to let's see you can go up here to debug oh no run sorry run and then run it does the same thing. So, don't go to tools. Don't go to debug. Go to what's in the middle. Run, run, yay! And also notice that there's an F5 by it. That's why I say F5 on the keyboard. And then you have the arrowhead, and you have this. Okay, it's like a recording, a recorder, a recorder, video recorder, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Next, we're going to look at uh, declaring variables, okay? In our in our access access programming series, looking at uh, introduction programming, looking at the uh, looking at declaring variables. So uh, let's take a little break, and then we'll come back in a moment.